Good evening, everyone. I hope you guys are doing good. I am I am doing good. I can honestly say that I am doing good. Um, I just got finished watching the news. So, and it's like every time I watch the news, oh my gosh, the heaviness, you know? Oh my Lord. Um, well, anyway, I just thought that I would hop on and say hello to everyone. And Miss Cherie, I was thinking about you. <laughs> Yes, my dear, you do not have to worry about me when I'm walking. Oh, you are such a sweetie. And I am definitely hugging you. Um, yeah, I, I load down with stuff. <laughs> and um, thankfully, I have um, some friends that are on the police force in my district. And they I usually see them patrol the area. And it makes me feel so good. Every time I see one of them go by, um, so, you know, it's, 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 it's comforting. It really is. But usually when I walk, I see a lot of the same people walking their dog and walking to work or riding a bike from work or something of that nature. Depends on around what time I go tonight. I want to head out of here about in about 30 minutes so I can be back in time to, <clears throat> excuse me, to give my cat her medication. So I'm going to make this video really quick. Um, I wanted to do this. Miss Cherie, I know you got your book. I hope that you have indulged yourself in it. Um, I'm just going to open it up and let's just see where it falls. All right. So it falls on. Let's see here. I need better lighting. Hold on. Let me, let me go over here. Let's see if this helps. One second. Don't you hate when after you start recording, all of a sudden now you have to adjust stuff? <laughs> all right. I'm going to go right here. It says God's perfect timing. It is important to remember that your time, your times Oh, excuse me. It is important to remember that your times are being determined by God's perfect timing. If you find it natural to establish God's will, then you need to make sure that you don't unconsciously move faster than God intended you to do. If you are more gradual in establishing God's will, for your life, then you must take care that it doesn't become a smoke screen for laziness or lethargy. That is why it is so important to spend time with God in prayer, as it will cause the tempo of your life to come in perfect harmony with God's timing. Father, please guide me so that I will be in perfect harmony with your timing for my life. Amen. And the scripture here says, as for me, I trust in you, Lord. Oh, goodness. Mm. Oh, Lord, I say, you are my God. Mm. My times are in your hands. Psalm 31, 14 through 15. That is absolutely beautiful. And I'm not going to, you know, hang on it long because I do have to go soon. But I am grateful that this is what it, what I opened up to. This is what God opened up to. Because it's like, Lord, what is your word for me today? And you just open up to whatever your, your eye falls on. And this is something that I pray. And I want to tell you why I pray this quite often. Um, I have, um, what do you call it, um, bipolar disorder, mixed bipolar disorder, which in my opinion is the lesser of the evils. <laughs> for me, it is, oops, for me, it is, um, I'm happy and I'm very happy. If I'm sad, I'm very sad. If I'm angry, I can be very angry. If I'm excited, I'm very excited. And it's like, I work very hard to make sure I stay in balance with my emotions. Um, you know, 
So that's a good thing because I'm aware of it and it keeps helps to keep me focused. Hold on a second, guys. No, I did not. I don't know what you smell, but there's no God did not put Gappy's poo poo in your room. It might be your upper lip, but I'm sorry. There is no get the litter box is clean. I don't know what you're smelling. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he he has his little man cave, which we call the bat cave. And um that bat cave, he loves Batman. That's the, that's a thing with him and his mother, so um that's why he hangs on to Batman. And uh so that I have a cat cave, he has a bat cave. That's where his little workout room is and he, he sleeps there like cause we sometimes we sleep different hours. But anyway, um Hold on one second, y'all. Let me check out and see what the smell is. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So anyhow, um, I, I so when I have that those issues where I feel my emotions getting a little bit too much, I'm like, Lord, slow me down. Lord, slow me down. Lord, direct my words. Direct, help me with my emotions. Um, it's not bad like it used to be. Um, I do have the oxytocin, but there are times when I feel like I'm moving too fast and I have to ask God to slow me down. Lord, you choose my words. Lord, you let me do what I need to do in your time. Because sometimes I might get anxious and want to do something right then and there because I don't have patience. Let me just hit on patience a little bit. I am a person who is not very patient. So that is something that is always going to be a thing that I work on. If I'm going to do it, I want to do it now and I want to get it over with. But sometimes when I rush through things, they don't get done quite as well as they would have done, would have been if I had taken my time, you know, and it's, and I can easily feel overwhelmed. So I pray this a lot, you know, Lord, let me do things in your time, your way, your will, because if I do it the way that you want me to do it, if I say it the way that you want me to say it, if I wait on you and let you lead and guide my path and my direction and my thoughts and so forth and so on, then there won't be no mistake. You know, everything will be fine if I just, you know, go through the process carefully. And I'm going to tell you guys, it works. Prayer really does work because God will put things in your path that will help you, that will strengthen you. And, and so most importantly, and so, so most importantly, I mean, it's the Holy Spirit that when things happen that overwhelm me, that I'm able to remain calm and to think things through you know, and I am so grateful. So guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, prayer really does change things. The unfortunate thing, (laughs) but it's really not unfortunate, is that sometimes those prayers do not answer or not answered as quick, as quickly as we want them to be, you know, and when that happens, that simply means, you know what, It, it ain't time. In due season for purposeful reason, you know, so I love this. I'm glad that this is what I opened up to. Maybe because this was on there, I don't know. But um, I'm grateful that this is what I opened up to because this is really important, guys, that we stay that course and stay that path and let God lead us in all of our ways in life that we let him lead and direct us. So I'm grateful for that. I'm so grateful for that. All right, so I'm going to put that here, so that way when I when we do this again, um, it won't automatically go to that plate to that page. Miss Cherie, if you're watching, my sweet sister, thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you so much for all your subscribers and all your you know your sisters that you sent my way. I am beyond blessed. I I can't thank you enough. It means so much to me, you know, because, you know, the enemy will try to sneak in, you know, and make you think, 
you know, your videos aren't worthy or important and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and God will allow that to happen just so that you can grow and be strengthened and lean on him. And so, you know, I'm grateful, but I thought you might be interested in this. This is Rainbow Quotes by Kel of a Plan, but it has, it's, it's my surplus, my stock, you know, my storage. Um, and she has a lot of positive um you know, brush lettered um, quotes that you can put in your Bible. You can stick it in your Bible journal and they're all different topics. But it's not just all that. Amber plans her day. I love this. You are stronger than the storm. Um, these are all the colorful ones. So I organize them accordingly. And then here's some black ones. Um... Now, this one is Bible scriptures. Miss Cherie, I know that you would love this. Um, Amber Plants Her Day doesn't have any more of these. And I'm hoping that she will get more stock in. But all of these are brush-written Bible scriptures. And I can just see you sticking them all over the place. I, <laughs> and, you know, so it's all these all of these different types of Bible scriptures and inspirational quotes and so forth. Oh, I love that. You were chosen to be free. Yeah, I need my freedom. <laughs> um, look at this. He calls me beautiful one. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Miss Cherie, look at this. This is also from Amber Plants Her Day, and this one is called um, Black Quotes, Volume 2. There's some little sarcasm in some of them. She has them in sections. So some are like really sharpy, and some are really sweet and positive, and some are crafty. Um, I love this, Conquer From Within, you know, and I just, I just think that this is something that you would love. So, yeah, so I keep my things on a ring so that I can be able to flip through them and f and and flip them this way and that way. And I tie a little ribbon on them. So I love doing this. But um, this is a ton of stickers, ton of large ones, small ones. But I love the fact that they're Bible scriptures and that they're inspirational quotes. So, Miss Cherie, if this is something that you think you would like, check out amberplantsherday.com and you will see the um, <sighs> Black Quotes Volume 2. Um, and let's see. And as far as Kel of a Plan, you can go to kelofaplan.com and she has rainbow quotes. And I like the fact that you get, you get them in color, but you also get them in black. And um, so I just have mine organized like that. So check that out. And so I, I'm going to get on out of here and get my get my um, workout started. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be blessed. I appreciate y'all. Miss Cherie, mwah, I'm sending you kisses. Kalani and James and Vanessa and Travel Lady, Miss Martha, all of you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos because I appreciate it. And I mean that more than you think I do because I don't have any girlfriends. You know, I am a loner. I'm very extroverted. I mean, introverted, excuse me. I'm very introverted and I don't have company come over and I don't go over to people's houses and things of that nature, you know, and I am truly blessed that I am able to socialize and associate myself and parts of my life and my faith with you all and it, 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 it's such, it, I can't explain it it's a tremendous blessing you know you get a lot of people who say click like and subscribe and now I see why it's so important you know one of the reasons I should say it would be so important for someone to click like and, and subscribe. I don't promote that on my channel. If you feel like clicking like, you will. You know, if you feel like fast forwarding, you will. 
you know, if you feel like watching me from beginning to end, then you will. If you feel like, like subscribing, then you will. You know, I'm grateful for what I get from you guys. It means a lot. It really does. I, I just can't put it into words. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of your life and you a part of my life. So hello, aloha, hola, all of that to everybody. And all of y'all be blessed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.